incentivized a race. High Bike have let us loose on their electric trekking bikes once more. These are the Trekking 10, they're beautiful machines. And well, last time I rode one, I had to, I had to camp in a hedge yeah, before Christmas. <laughs> um, I, guess, uh, I guess this is it for me. But this time, I'm going to win. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's just be clear. No, you're not. Let's well, get that. Well, well, the proof being the pudding, Richard. Either way, we're going to race 40 kilometers from here to Cheddar, a village famous for cheddar cheese. We're going to buy some of that beautiful cheese, and then we're going to bring it back here. First one home takes the glory. Yeah, but there is a catch. These bikes give us five modes, and we each can be stuck in one mode. This guy is going to be an eco. That guy in touring, and me. Yeah, you guessed it. I'm on turbo! <laughs> The catch Hank hasn't considered, though, is that riding in turbo is going to drain his battery considerably faster than myself and Ollie. And it's going to catch up with him. Yeah, so place your bets. Who's going to win? The hare, the giant tortoise, or, um, well, the cunning, wily tech presenter who's, well, hedged his bets and thought about this. The race is on. <laughs> you, you do, you do realise you're wasting that battery already? About 90 kilometers awaits us today, Hank. You need to conserve every little ounce you've got. This is why we're going to win. Well, me. That's why I'm going to win. This is why we need to teach him a lesson. You can't live life in the fast lane all the time. Oh, my God. Anyway, OK, go in. I mean, we may as well start properly. Wait, what's he even doing? Mind, mind the people. Oh, he's coming back. Right, OK, right. Three, two, one. Right. Wow, Engage mode! Bloody hell, oh. the power. This is where the difference is. First climb of the day. Real this is where the differences are going to become apparent. Just toying. Toying. Well, you are losing ground now. This is where you need to make your advantage on the climb. I'll see you later, boys! Adios! As Hank disappears up the climb like a firework on New Year's Eve, it's worth considering the forces at play here. So as we said, I'm stuck in eco mode. That means around 60% assisted power of what I'm putting out through my legs up to a maximum torque of 40 Newton meters. That's the maximum force that the motor can apply to the cranks when I'm pedaling. So I'm gonna be able to ride for ages. It's the most conservative mode on the e-bike. However, I am going to struggle on the steeper climbs, which is why I've been dropped already. We've all got the same battery fitted to our high bikes as well. 625 watt hour battery, which provides enough juice, around 208 watts for three hours of riding. Oh, I wonder how Hank and Ollie are getting on. They've disappeared from sight already. Well, my bike has the exact same Bosch motor as the other two, mine is stuck in tour mode, which is kind of an in-between mode in terms of the assistance offered. So I get 140% of whatever I put through the pedals. So if I do, well, 200 watts, that means I'm doing 480 watts in theory, which is cool. Although that is up to a maximum torque of 50 Newton meters. Now I'm hoping that this is the sweet spot in terms of battery life and range because giving me more power, my battery will drain a bit quicker than Connor's, but not quite as quick as Hank's. I'm hoping it pays off. About 17 kilometers in now, and I'm still on 91% battery. So, I mean, that bodes very well, but also, not great, because it means that Hank might have actually picked the right option. The reason for that, I think, is, well, we're not using the battery in the motor all the time. Because it cuts out at 25k an hour, it means I only really need it on the hills. On the flats and the descents, I can use my own engine. So, although it's good, it extends your, your effective range. Oh, I'm worried. I'm worried I might not be able to beat Hank. We'll see. Avocate. So 
you're probably wondering where I am. I'm a third of the way into the route. And my battery, worryingly, is already down 63%. Hold on for dear life. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I'm about 33 kilometers in and I still have a whopping 82% battery. Plenty of juice left in the tank. And I'm just having a chill ride, really. I mean, look at this. Lovely day, sun's out. Enjoying the spin. What more could you ask for? There are a few variables which will affect your battery life. So the type of battery that you have, weather, terrain, wind direction, your weight, aerodynamics, tyre pressure. These are all things you need to consider if you want to maximise your battery life and get the most out of it possible. Also, the way you ride, that's a big one. So if you're really aggressive, smashing on those steep climbs, sprinting out of junctions, you're going to drain your battery quicker. This is what I'm counting on with Hank. I'm hoping he's going to do these things so that he drains his battery a little bit more than potentially he could. Hank is many things, you know, he's a nice guy, he's friendly, energetic, playful, generous. One thing I wouldn't describe him as is smart. Yeah, so I've done 20 miles now, and my average speed is 18 miles an hour, and my battery still on 87%. Hey, it's good loads. I'm just like, ah, oh, I'm not using it enough. I'm, uh, I'm sort of going to really try and lean on it on the hills more, make the most of it, and then save my energy for elsewhere where I can pedal. Okay, we're coming into the halfway point of this race. Cheddar, famous for its cheese. Looking forward to buying a nice extra mature one for myself. I am partial to a good cheese. It's one of my weaknesses, actually. I love cheese. Hank, though, I'm wondering about him. I'm wondering how far ahead he is. I'm going to ask the person at the shop and see. It's a good, uh, good little judgment. See how hard I'm going to have to work on the way back. Ollie, I hope he's bought some cheddar. I'm sure he's bought something. Something nerdy, like a Stilton. Halfway, 60% battery, and I'm still in front. Now for some cheese. Oh, forgot to get the kicks on. Here we go. Beautiful. You know, um, any recommendations? This one? Bloody hell, did you do a smaller block? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, there we go. I want to just get some crackers as well, mate. If we process those. Thank you very much, mate. Take care. And we're off. Cheese still there intact. Turbo still engaged. Currently, it's telling me I've got 35 miles left on my range in turbo mode. I'm just hoping that the gorge isn't going to waste a lot of that power. 60% battery. I just hope it lasts to the end. And I don't get passed by Ollie Bridgewood. the business end of Cheddar Gorge, the steep section at the bottom, and uh, normally you really feel these steep gradients, but with an e-bike, I mean, I'm still doing over 300 watts here, but I mean, you can go so much quicker. It really can take the, the sting out of it, even in tour mode like I'm in. It's fun. A nice vintage. 
Thank you very much. I've got a bit peckish as well, so I might have got some uh, crackers and some, yeah. some jam. Thank you uh, I've got a long way to ride home. Right. Looks lovely though, thank you very much. Climbing Cheddar Gorge now with my cheddar. Hardest and longest climb of the route on our way back to Bath. And I'm suffering, I'm struggling a bit. I could do with a bit more power. I'm itching to change modes into turbo and just fly up here, but I'm staying true to the race, staying in eco mode. My size and my weight, I really could do with a bit more power. Battery life though is, uh, I'm laughing with battery life. But I'm starting to worry that the win in this race is slipping away from me. Oh. Even after cheddar, my battery life's lost 78%. I mean, it's uh, quite impressive like how long they can last. I mean, I think what high bike's done is been sort of more conservative with the range and, and battery life kind of stats they give. And I think that's, that's a good thing because, well, if it means you get fitter and stronger and you have an e-bike, what you're basically doing is extending the range you can go on it, which, well, it's a great thing. I don't really think people talk about e-bikes in that way normally, but I think they should. So currently on 40 percent battery, Going up Cheddar, all the way to the top, annihilated my battery. But I'm hoping that it's given me a big advantage over the others. I just hope my turbo mode hangs on. The last thing I want to be doing is be left with too far to go with a battery that weighs a bit of, well, more than my block of cheese, let's just say that. Is my pocket cheese still there? Yeah, thank God. Did my best to hunt Hank down. I can't see him in the distance. Hank. Considering how much battery life I've got left, I think Hank might have actually got the best option of going in ultra mode. But I'm doing my best. Forty-five percent battery in these pill, these climbs are like opening your petrol tank and just let it seep out, that's basically what's happening. I'm losing battery power every incline, but the speed is giving me. I'm hoping it's gonna give me an advantage over the two numbskulls behind me. I mean, look at this, I'm climbing like bloody Contador. Cheese, Gromit, cheese. The cheese power. The cheese machine. Cheddar for life. It's also made my jersey smell a bit better. Coming into Bath now. And my range is stuck at six miles now, it's gone up. Dropped down when I was hitting those climbs, one after the other, but because it's plateaued now, I haven't been using the full extent of the motor. I've got to say, I am amazed that I've done 56 miles in turbo mode, and I've still got five miles to go, which is utterly insane. I think those two lads, they underestimated the power of the high bike. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, I could crack it, me. Woo! 57.5 miles, and I've got four miles left. And, uh, well, the others. Oh, about time I get a beer, I think. Right, we're just coming back into Bath now. Still no sign of Hank. I fear that he may be long gone, but I'm on a 51% battery. And no, no range anxiety here. I'm just sort of looking over my shoulder now, trying to hold off Connor, hoping that he doesn't catch me. Last push. Yeah, it doesn't matter though, I've got the boat. Ah, here he is. <laughs> How long have you been here? Oh mate, ages. What time? Ages. 4.24 I got here. Ages. Right. So, well, about five minutes ahead of me. Ages. Five Enough to, for me to have half a pint. Fair oh, play right. mate, actually, that was... Yeah, that, so. I thought I'd be further than that. How much battery have you got left? That's a big one. I thought you were going to run out. Did you run out? Mmm, I was pretty close. 14% left. What about oh, you? I've got 50%. 50%? 50% though. You I got 50, do it again. You've got 55 bars and you've got 50% left. Yeah. That's anyway, outrageous. Connor. Where is Connor? I'm well, I wouldn't worry me. too much about Connor because he'll probably be, I don't know, in the stick somewhere. Do you want a beer? Yeah. <laughs> there you go, mate. Ordered it. <laughs> Look at that. I go for a swim. Hey, yeah. Uh, Say hello to my fellow cyclists. Oh. Oh, where have you been? <laughs> that, right, you 45 minutes down on Hank. 45, 45 minutes? 40 minutes down on me. I obviously won turbo mode, and I've still got 14% battery left. I was so convinced I'd win this one. How much battery have you got? convinced. 40%. 40%. You got less battery than me as well. Really? I've got 50% left. 50%. But, I think I, I, I think I know what might have happened here, because I found, I was, I was just trying so hard that a lot of the time I was going over 17 miles an hour, which was then the battery just cut out and wasn't giving me assistance because of the way the e-bikes work. So I was actually you saved your battery, really. doing a lot more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think people don't talk about e-bikes in that way. So it's like one of the things is you still have to pedal, and but then the, the fitter you get, the, the longer you extend the range of your, of your bike, which is quite cool. And obviously I'm a lot heavier. I'm not as fit as you. You're less moment. aero with your clothing choices. That, that's true. I also bought a lot of cheese in <laughs> yeah. Cheddar, so that was wearing me down on the climbs. Um, well, I use every single bit of my toe about those climbs. I want to say, I wouldn't have changed But it. if I could, I'd have been changing between the modes. I'd have gone for turbo on the climbs, I'd have got that boost when I needed it, I'd have got the boost in the city to get up to speed after every junction. So I think um, there's the point. When yeah. it comes to using your motor as efficiently as possible, switch between the modes, because that way you can elongate your battery life and you'll get, yeah, have a faster you'll get the most the end of out of it. Yeah, definitely. And the other big take-home message today is that Hank beat us, not because he's better than us, no. but, but just because the high bike is so, so capable. Yeah. No, he's right. 55 mile ride yeah. and he's still got battery. Uh, yeah. a just, with 340% assist. That is incredible. Yeah. But, I mean, fair play, high bike. Well, there That's we go, off. guys. I guess we should, uh, well, cheers to high bike. We'll get you one, one in yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll get you one in a minute. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, well, uh, what do you do, Connor? Give it a big thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. I'm going to ride home now in turbo mode, for sure, all the way home. <laughs> 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 and uh, yeah, we're going to cruise. Ollie's going to beat you and not yeah. even use the motor. Let me know in the <laughs> comments who you thought was going to win this one, if you got it right or if you got it wrong. Let and us know. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the see next, next video. video.